Well, this is the prototype of the All Weather Jacket 2.0. So excuse it's looking a bit creased and the collar's not quite right, but essentially this is uh, the, the last stage before we go into production of the garments. Um, the All Weather Jacket, uh, the first generation of the All Weather Jacket um, was developed because I wanted a one winter jacket that would work in any weather conditions, doesn't matter if it's raining, snowing, windy, whatever, it would work in any conditions. And it succeeded, the All Weather Jacket 1.0 succeeded in doing that exceptionally well. Um, as far as I know, there's no other running jacket like this on the market. It's waterproof, it's windproof, but it doesn't have a membrane in the fabric, so it's also really comfortable directly against the skin or over a base layer in any winter running conditions. The fabric on the um, All Weather Jacket, on the All Weather Jacket 1.0 and 2.0 is really, really special. It's a woven fabric again, and I've touched on on, on pre previous designers' notes why I like woven fabric so much. They give you a much better structure for the same weight uh, compared to a knitted fabric. Um, so this fabric is made, uh, it doesn't have a membrane as I said. The yarn is coated with DWR treatment, a water repellent treatment. It is woven, the fabric is then shrunk down so it's got an incredibly dense uh, yarn count, 200, 200 threads per inch, which is very, very dense. And then it's coated with the second application of DWR. So this results in a garment that's windproof, for all intents and purposes, totally waterproof um, and very warm against the skin because the inner surface is brushed. Funnily enough, that way of making a fabric, that way of making a waterproof fabric is uh, what Britain developed in the Second World War, which was ventile, which was a very close woven cotton, which swelled in contact with water and became waterproof. So this idea of having an extremely close weave to achieve waterproofness isn't new, but it's done in a very technical way. And it's the first time it's been done with this double application of DWR treatment. Uh, the fit of the um, all weather jacket, it's cut in a similar way to the, to the tempo top. So it's designed to be a close fitting garment. I didn't want a oversized, baggy, bulky, winter running jacket. I wanted a winter running jacket that felt as much like a top. So you can wear this garment very much like a top. Um, it's cut with a semi raglan sleeve, which means it gives you really good arm hole fit. It gives you a high arm hole, gives you a lot of arm mobility, um, and gives you a really nice uh, fit around the shoulders. So it'll accommodate pretty much any shoulder shaping in a really nice way. Um, so this approach to pattern cutting choosing the way that you pattern cut a garment to suit the requirements of the garment, again, that's really important at SOAR. Work out what you're trying to solve and then choose the right tools to solve that problem. This is a winter running garment, so you will be running in the dark in this, and certainly many of our customers are running in the countryside where it's really, really dark. This colorway is obviously black, but it will come in a high-vis orange colorway as well. In both the orange version and the black version, we've got a lot of reflectivity built in. So we have large reflective chevron here. All the bonded seams have reflective, extra reflective uh, detail along them. So these pinstripes here are all reflective. Same on the back body. And then we have two large reflective chevrons on the back as well. The all weather jacket is almost uh, exclusively bonded. Um, and we talked about this with the, with the Ultra Rain jacket where it's problematic bonding laminated fabrics. Because this isn't a laminated fabric, it's got an almost fully bonded uh, construction. That means all those seams are waterproof. The only seams that aren't bonded is round the armhole and up onto the back shoulder. So those are a sewn seam and then taped to give them a waterproof construction. Um, there's a patch pocket on the inside uh, Napoleon pocket on the inside so you can put your phone in there or your keys or your credit card something small and light if you just want it handy and then there is a, a larger pocket on the back of the garment if you want to carry gels larger phone you know etc etc